um, I was kind of hoping to get a, a kind of a consensus from everyone and not just do it on my own and uh, not uh, just pursue that as much as I should have. I just didn't want to move the money on my own. So that would be brought up on a Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went to court to view a case that I have some interest in, which is the proposed senior housing project. Um, it was my understanding, being in that court case, that the town had the opportunity to see that this project is going to go through, and that something was supposed to be done so that the town could go ahead with the project and we could have groundbreaking. I was told the groundbreaking was supposed to be in April. We didn't have a groundbreaking in April. So I'd like to know where we stand on the senior housing project. Are we still going through with the senior housing project? And are we going to have a groundbreaking? There is a groundbreaking schedule for this month, May 24th, I believe. So we are going through with the project. I mean, we're done in court. That situation is all over with now. It's not done in court yet. It's not even further than what we were. Ready for a judge to sign the order, but. OK, so it's just in the not here. I said waiting for the judge to sign the order. But we're still at the same place that we were as a result of the court hearing. Which, I apologize. Which, where does that actually mean? Three, uh, three of the counts of the petition or complaint were dismissed. Right. I that. Still left the court count that's still moving on towards trial. That's fine. All right. That's the size of the page, except that that's the most I can take. Okay. At this point. That's your fate. Before we're at the space, Pete, when is the ceremonial procedure for this supposed to be? Most I heard from May 24th. That's what they're around right now. Uh, oh, I heard. I don't know if that's uh, still saying true or not. Uh, Mary Beth, excuse me. Mary Beth just asked a question. I can't answer that. I don't okay. know. Okay. Well, if it's groundbreaking, it's groundbreaking. If it's not, and if it's not pre being proceeded, then she asked a question. She never got a yes or no answer. And that's why I came back with the question, what is the date? Yes, there is one. I believe there was a tentative ground, ground rate breaking, but it's all an assumption to what's happening here. That's where it stands. So the point is, if, if we don't know, how is she going to know? That's right now, I'm going to press myself. We're all in the middle, really. The only thing I can tell you is, because they represent the Ackerman group, and, and because of the confidential nature of our discussion, there, there is no uh, definitive date when this groundbreaking so, will occur. So, so there's nothing to disseminate. So the answer public. should be, so her answer is no. The answer should be, it's just doing legal, uh, um, it's in a legal stance right now, and there shouldn't be a groundbreaking then, or isn't a groundbreaking. That's what I want to know. It's none, of, none of our business what they do in terms of buying land, but. Uh, According to the representative I spoke to on uh, yesterday, I have no date. That's good. I'm sorry, Mayor. Right. Good evening. My name is Richard Clay. I live off of the West End Gardens, off the Route 40. And uh, we've been having oh, terrible complaints up there. We can't get heat in the winter. We can't get cool in the summer. We ain't got no hot water. They call the health department, they don't want to do nothing. They come out there, you know, I mean, there's trash everywhere. It don't seem like they got up by, by the same rules as a lot of landlords around here. I used to work for Mr. Williams, who owns a lot of property in the town. And he didn't get away with half of the stuff that 
these gentlemen are getting away with up there. And, and I understand, yeah. I, I don't know whether he was ever actually issued citations for anything, but I, I know we got warnings on several properties where we had to go out and take care of problems. You call people out there, it don't seem like nobody wants to do anything. Uh, I got, uh, I guess what they would call evicted, they handed me a note last week because I thought we should have had air conditioning on Sunday when it was 90 degrees and 95% humidity. I'm sure everybody in this room had air conditioning on Sunday. And if you didn't, I, I find it hard to believe. Well, the cops were called because we got an altercation. I was told that I was uh, disruptive, and the reason for the eviction was I was disrespect, uh, disrespectful to management. Because I asked for air conditioning, is what the disrespectful was. Now, the Elkton police were the ones out there, Officer Crow and um, Officer Ford, Sergeant Ford. And they seemed... Their, their biggest issue with, was, with me was, why did I have a suspended driver's license? Now, I wasn't even driving nothing. I'm standing in the parking lot, and they, they didn't even seem to want to uh, address the fact that somebody's trying to evict me because I thought I needed air conditioning. They was worried about why I had a suspended license, which is ridiculous. And I, I just want to know why nobody in this town seems to want to do anything about these people. Well, the thing we have to do with, we have our code enforcement, but we also have to find out who owns the building <coughs> and the property, and we have to... Dr. Oslam owns all the property. All right. He has all the people running. I don't think Dr. Oslam's the problem. I, from my understanding, he's owned it with other people <coughs> and it's been fine. I, th I think the management's the situation. I don't think it's the owner. Well, we, but one thing we could do, we probably could write him a letter and explain to him what... Uh, what you're saying here and see what he says. And now, I've, I've been told by five different people now uh, the different rules of, of me being evicted. So I, I wanted to ask you, what do they have to do to evict me? Is this note sufficient eviction? Do I get a court notice? Am I? And it goes to the sheriff's office in the court. And the sheriff, sheriff told them this was adequate not notification. Now, mine's an apartment. Mine's not a single motel room. I have an actual apartment there. I got a bedroom, a stove, a kitchen. It's a regular apartment. Now, they're saying I got to be out of there soon. And that's, I, I've been there for a year and a half. I have never been daily on any of my funds. In fact, I'm usually a week ahead, which is kind of ironic because I'm paid off past this Sunday, which I'm getting evicted for. And when the sheriff shows up Sunday, I want to know what I'm going to tell him because I'm not leaving my room. Am I going to be arrested Sunday on this piece of paper? Or nobody can answer me. Sheriff Department says one thing, Elkton Police say another thing. Officer Cruz says they got to take me to court, give me an eviction notice, give me a chance to fight my eviction, have my attorney there, or whatever I'm going to do. Sheriff Department says this is adequate notification. We're dragging you out, son. No. There's our attorney. He said basically, sound checking ahead. Said, yeah, we could probably do that. I mean, that's what, you have to go through the system and. I would think deal. so, sir. I pay my taxes. I go to work every day. I haven't been late. This man just can't seem to want to treat people like <coughs> humans. All right, well, we'll take. We'll, no, we'll try and get. I don't think that that's exactly notice, but uh, he should go and consult an attorney. Right. Uh, Absolutely, I already have. One. There's well, then talk to him because no, I would say that that's not adequate notice. Uh, Thanks. Okay. I appreciate your time. Okay. I, I think you all need to do something about what's going on. We have kids. Uh, I understand that place was a haven at one time. We'll look into it and see. That place was a haven at one time. I understand that. It's not like that here. Anymore. There's families. There's kids in there. Uh -huh. We we pretty much on our own. And with the help of the police, I might add, they've done a good job. I don't want to say it or not, because they have. They've cleaned it up pretty good. You know, we're making phone calls. We're trying to do what we can. All right. You know, we're out there on our own grass. I'm planting flowers, you know. Good, well, that's good. So, I mean, okay. I mean, I don't mind doing. You know, I, I like to be part of the community. Good, but you know, I think we need a little feedback from someone. All right, we'll see what we can do. I appreciate right. your time. Thank you. Thank you. Tim Timothy.